This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. And today, I'm in Chesterfield County. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a four bedroom, two bath, modern farmhouse. And this home is truly unique. We are situated here on an acre plus lot. Uh, we have a, an amazing scenario here. This home was purchased and renovated by a reigning Miss Virginia and she bought this home before the pandemic uh, put a lot of work and love into it uh, while she was here she had chickens goat a pig a dog uh, did quite a bit of gardening she actually wrote a children's book and recorded her first song all while here at this beautiful property normally we have no idea who lives currently or lived in a property that's on the market, but they were kind enough to share that little backstory with us. Uh, so you get a little idea of who the seller is. I also have had the, per the opportunity uh, and privilege to meet her and just a wonderful uh, lady with an amazing platform. And uh, we are happy that Leah Coleman, the listing agent was kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look at this truly unique property. As you can see there in the distance, we have a carport, a uh, nice porch here. You've got plenty of space for several rocking chairs and you can envision a swing or you could just simply sit in the one that's already there. You don't have to envision it because it's in place. All right, let's go on in and take a look. I'm gonna take you upstairs first. I normally save that for last, but we're gonna go up. We come into our family room our steps directly ahead and then to the left here this is going to be a first floor bedroom i'm actually going to pop in here while we're here so you can get an idea this of course is big enough for an adult size bed with no problems you've got plenty of space in these bedrooms i like the fact that they are large bedrooms and uh, definitely will facilitate adult size furniture all right let's go on up and see what we have up here in the store down our hallway here to the left, this is going to be the primary bedroom right here. We have a queen size bed that's currently in place. I love the fact we have nice tall knee wall. We've got a nice big closet as well, oversized closet. And then some additional space back there in the corner. This would be a great place to put a piece of furniture there and get it off of the floor space. Our carpet looks great up here and directly across is going to be another bedroom. We've got a little nook down that side, so you could definitely utilize that somehow. This is gonna be the most conservative of the bedrooms, but it's still big enough for an adult size bed. This is gonna be a rectangular shape. Once again, with a nice large closet. And next to it is going to be our hall bath, and it's gonna be right here to the left. I love the fact that this is nice and bright we have a nice window there and we also have a skylight so you've got plenty of natural light that's going to flow in here through this bathroom our fiberglass shower there are companies that will refinish if you wanted to change that color out it's not a big deal uh, to go ahead and do so and here to the left, we have a dedicated laundry room. And this is uh, fairly unusual in this style of home. Uh, we normally don't see a dedicated space like this. Uh, you've got plenty of space uh, overhead if you wanted to put some cabinets there. Uh, if you wanted to stack two front loads, you could do that and then create even more storage space in that laundry room. This is going to, of course, be our final uh, bedroom. And this one, once again, is nice and large. Uh, you've got a nook directly uh, ahead and that would be a great place if you want to put a rod up there for a closet space but definitely could get a uh, king size bed in here with no problem so we've got a number of nice large bedrooms one thing i really love about this floor plan all right we're going to go downstairs and take a look and see what we have in store here on the first floor to the right we've already seen that we have that first floor bedroom great place if you wanted to use that as a home office you could do that or if you had someone with mobility challenges uh, that would be a great place for them as well love the sliding farmhouse door there and of course we've got a wonderful 
window here so you can look out over the front yard. I didn't mention that we've got that little sitting area out front. There are some Edison bulbs uh, there in an area, so that'd be a really neat place to uh, just relax and spend time if you didn't want to do it in the amazing backyard. All right, here to the right, this is going to be our kitchen. We're actually going to start here to the left, and I'm going to take you through um, down here. That, of course, was our first floor bedroom that we just saw. We do have a pantry here, a nice amount of space. Our second pantry, and then our hall bath here on the first floor. This one does have a tub shower area, which makes it super convenient. Remember, we had that first floor bedroom, so whoever was in there as a occupant could use this as their full bath and wouldn't have to, of course, go upstairs uh, for that reason. All right, I'm gonna take you now into our den, which was here to the right, and it's going to feature a fireplace directly ahead. That's gonna be a wood-burning fireplace. We've got great space in here, plenty of light because we have the slider there, and that's going to uh, give us the ability to uh, have that light. If we were entertaining, we could, of course, pop right out there uh, to that space. We're actually gonna to go to the kitchen and then I'm gonna take you outside. Love what she did here in the kitchen. This is a really unique granite here that we have uh, on the counter. We've got a smooth top, a uh, nice complement of cabinets trimmed all the way out to the ceiling, uh, our stainless stove, our dishwasher, and our double uh, farmhouse sink is in place. Our window, of course, looking out over the pool. Ladies and gentlemen, you know you arrived when you can look up from washing dishes and uh, see a swimming pool. That is a nice plus here at this property. Our large stainless refrigerator with ice and water in the door and some additional cabinets. Directly ahead, of course, our dinette. Now those windows, those uh, plantation shutters, of course, open. So you can have a complete view here of the back deck. And I say back deck because it's not the only deck. We've got a screened porch here and this is really neat space because not only is it covered but we also have a ceiling fan uh, the screen of course will keep the mosquitoes out this is actually an oversized space here you can tell by the amount of furniture that we have overlooking the backyard all right so we're gonna now transition here to our deck and the deck opens up to the swimming pool notice our pool has fencing all the way around and that's important I do believe there are insurance issues if you do not have a fence around your pool. You definitely want to keep everyone safe, and uh, this pool definitely complies with that. All right, we're going to walk the backyard here. I want a couple things to, uh, uh, to point out to you here uh, in this space. All right, here to the left, directly ahead, actually, is going to be our storage building. You can store all of your uh, lawn and garden items. There are some of the flower beds there that are throughout this property. Good spacing here on the side. This is gonna be a low maintenance vinyl exterior. Great privacy here at this location, yet you're only just a couple miles away from infrastructure here in North Chesterfield. So you've got a great location. I believe uh, maybe the pig or the goat, or I don't know who used to live there, but somebody uh, that had four legs called that home. Uh, here was the home for uh, Goofy. Goofy was the farm dog and um, his little residence there was established in 2020. Uh, just amazing signage that we have here on this property. Uh, notice the side of the, the barn was, was opened up there so the livestock that lived there could access uh, this space. This was their domain, their real estate here uh, that they were able to enjoy. And notice the gate there uh, as well. Really interesting space all right chickens this is where the chicken live the chicken wire you got the coops back there a uh, little pool there for them to, to get their water uh, gate would go right there and we're going to keep on moving here this direction as i mentioned earlier we've got great privacy in the distance i think there's maybe a church over there but you can barely see through 
uh, this space so you've got really good privacy plenty of space if you wanted to have a garden back here uh, notice you've got direct sunlight right there uh, you could do so many things here with this unique property uh, I'm really glad that I was able to bring this to you because uh, it's not often you can find a property that has all of this character the bedroom bathroom count a swimming pool the ability to have uh, some of the livestock that we talked about earlier uh, all in one property at a reasonable price so you guys know I'm working hard to bring you new and different and interesting properties if you know someone that is looking to buy and sell it would be an honor for me to work with them uh, I gotta be honest with you I don't know a harder working agent in Metro Richmond I'll do the same for you or for them Max Williams 804-402-7788 it can be reached on Facebook under Richmond Air Foreclosures on YouTube under my name Max Williams Realtor please be sure to comment like subscribe and tell somebody else about this channel i appreciate you you be safe have a great day